In this video, I'm going to be unboxing and installing the Deepcool Gamix 400. Later on in the video, I'm going to have that CPU cooler up on the test bench, and I'm going to be applying a 5 GHz overclock profile to it. Let's see if that CPU cooler can take the heat. Here's the accessory box. You have your fan brackets for the extra fan. You have three sets of brackets for mounting the heat sink. One, two, three. Thermal paste. The Deep Cool Gamix 400. Here's the side of the fin stack. Here's the back of the fin stack. Here's what the base plate looks like. And it's a four pin PWM fan. Need a smaller screwdriver to mount the Intel mount to the bottom of the heatsink. I'm going to take off the fan for ease of installation. Interesting, they have these, uh, looks like anti-vibrational pads. These should be set properly, but I wanna turn them clockwise just to make sure. So this is an older i5 2500K system and I'm just dumping so much voltage in this processor up to 1.5 volts at 4.9 gigahertz and I just cannot believe how well this heatsink is dissipating heat. If you're thinking about purchasing a CPU cooler like this one and you have a CPU that's four core eight threads or even in some cases six core 12 threads, this CPU cooler will do a really good job. So if you like these kind of videos, consider subscribing. I have a ton of videos coming up in the future. I have a new CPU cooler called Vitro, 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 something like that. And I'm gonna have that up on the test bench with an i5-11600K. And I'm also going to be unboxing and reviewing three micro ATX cases that have everything built into them. All the fans, fan hubs, you name it. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next video. In this video, I'm going to be. 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 In this video, I'm going to be installing.